So yeah, Picross S4, stage 114. I'm so going to be tempted to do the end of this line. <laughs> That's one thing with Picross, I find that like, if I get into a role of playing it, I can get kind of uh, lost for quite a while. Which is really good in this current uh, situation. <laughs> it's nice to have a game that you can just kind of drift away for a while. This is one with very few actual teams. With very little to work with. You make me think, is there something I'm missing? What's that? I know there's part of the two. One second, I can work out what I know for sure. And then I will use a small bit of uh, brute forcing on a small part of it. So like up here, I go with the, if the six will still exist all the way up there at the top, then you would get this sticking out as the tree and then this immediately breaks that. So the top corner at least isn't there. How about up here? And just throw it down for a second and see it doesn't uh, see that doesn't rule out it being there. I go for it, throw it down the bottom corner. doesn't immediately flag as bad down there either. Nor does that four actually. I'm just uh, having a poke just to see. So like it would come out here to the trees and then block. So I could technically be right.
to change the stream title to come and sit down and watch me stare at a puzzle. <laughs> one gap, one gap, one, two, gap. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it's just the f those ones that are visible here. Hmm. Let's see, if I was to place a tree up here, how would that work out with coming down? I'll see it leads up that too, which could be right. So I can't rule it out. I storm it into the corners so I throw down the large numbers and see just how stuff would go if um they were to exist in those corners. feeling there's something I'm missing with the uh, these numbers but now that doesn't extend far enough to um, light up anyone here I'm gonna have to check to see if I can work out which piece this is if that was a two but those will be highlighted. And then there'd be a gap. One gap. One, two, gap. One, two, three. If it's coming up from the end, it'd be one, two, three, gap. One, two, gap. One, gap. One, two. I'm thinking. Regardless of which way it goes, I think this one underneath has to be a gap. It says there's one, two, three, and then a gap. And then the one, two, gap. Yeah, because below that has to be a gap one way or the other. See if that helps any bit. I think it might. A small bit, hopefully. It's been seven minutes that I've managed to fill in six seven blocks awesome one two gap one gap one two three okay so this one two three no longer fits in here Ugh. there may be some editing done to this video when it goes up on the other website uh, let's see Ah, to be fair, it's like, it's videos like this that make me think that might have somebody going, how the F do you start this? And maybe coming and taking a look at a guide and seeing, so we'll see. The handy thing with Picross is if I do manage to get some views on the uh, other channel, it is just a case of like, well, there's plenty of puzzles here. <laughs> Tons of content to uh, work with. And get baffled by. Okay, so the one, two has to be at this side now. Gap. One, two, three, four, five. Gap. That still doesn't massively help, but it's getting there. Sort of. Oh, okay. Another full line. Should be filling those in. Because the uh, one, two now has to go here as well. Nice. And this has to be a gap. And the rest of this line is almost fill in a bow. Fill in a bow able to be filled in I 
They should like this this puzzle should just be subtitled the humbling. It's definitely after the last few ones that I got like really really nice and quick. But they all boil down to the same thing. It's just using some logic tree. So there. This has to be one of the trees up top. Wait. Oh, I missed counting. <laughs> when you can't count to six, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> That looks odd. I wonder what this one is. Just a giant question mark. Just <laughs> drive home the puzzle factor of it. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. So this part at the end can't be a part of it because that would be a six. It's not a six. It's the one. The one that's on his tod. But if you go up, that can be the five. Excuse me. I think it's my hair. Uh, body crying out for a bit of coffee. I'm not caffeine for these puzzles. Can't quite work out what's um up with that side. Yeah, oh. nice. Hey, thirteen minutes. At least this video is going to be going into the I can put ads on it category. <laughs> That was the plan all along, you guys. I wasn't just staring at a screen. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, the tree can't go there. Let's come down to here. This is just me putting emphasis on the uh, slow and steady aspect of Picross. That's what I was doing. They can't all be quick. Okay, let's see. Does that help any bit with the end? The five, two, no, 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 still no help. Or I'm looking at it wrong. One second, one, two, gap, one, two, three. Oh, that helps. Because I can fill in the rest of this. For that guy and here now we're filling in dots in a grid is it a guy flexing like with his arm up Mocking me with my zero muscle mass. Uh, thinking, does the player base who play Picross have any muscle mass between them? I'm thinking the answer is eight. Let's see. 
That's definitely a guy standing up flexing, which means that, yeah, this is a puzzle which is directly mocking Picross claims. <laughs> in both being incredibly difficult and also incredibly difficult. It's gotta be a flexing pose, right? That's not a bodybuilder, yeah. Like I said, a mockery. <laughs> 15 minutes. To hell. <laughs> Do I make myself feel better or worse by going on and trying that one? Can it be better than 15 minutes? Let's see. 